Good morning, my motley crew of YouTube watchers. Yes, boy, I got some echo there. Anyways, uh, it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday, right? TGIF. Um, I've got to go do some estimating. Got to go estimate out in a place called Cool, right? Oh, cool. So, anyways, I um, also got to go pick up a hydraulic piece for my my auger for my excavator. But I uh, did my 250-hour maintenance on my machine, my case CX37C, and it was quite the ordeal having not uh, tackled that particular machine. I've done other equipment, but uh, this was my first uh, excavator, and everything's all crammed into one little spot, and um, so it was quite interesting. But man, I did the worst video ever. I mean, even right now, look at me. I'm in my my bathrobe. It's uh, early in the morning. People, people say, well, "How can you answer and respond to all these uh, comments?" And well, you know, it doesn't take long. But um, and I'm busy. You know, I'm not really a lot. I, I work probably what one or one, uh, two, three days every two or three weeks because um, of the pandemic. I'm slowed down, but uh, it's starting to pick up because it's springtime. So. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I started this video, and uh, the first scene is, is going to be have my wife in there, you know, to, to kind of spice things up with some pie that she made, and then there's this real pretty bird, and then it goes to hell in a handbasket. So, anyway, sorry about that, guys. But I put I did I wanted to I didn't have to um, publish this video, but you know. Um, there's not much stuff on a CX-37, and I've already done the, the shots. I'm, I'm holding the camera, and I'm, like, talking about a part, and you can't even see the damn thing. So, you know, you're going to be really upset if you have one of these machines and you needed to see that part. But on the other hand, on the other hand, um, uh, it's a very expensive uh, thing to do if you have to do it, if you have to take it into the shop. And so this is something you can do yourself, so it just kind of proves that you can do that. So... Again, I apologize for the um, debacle on this video, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be long too. But whatever, you know, I'm just gonna publish it. Um, somebody might see one thing they need in it because I do take the filters apart and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you can just kind of fast forward through a lot of it. <laughs> all right, have a great day. What kind of pie did you make me? I made you a strawberry rhubarb pie with uh. a caramel top. And I'm out there working on my excavator. I know. You're working so hard. Do you think it'll be good? To, yeah. I mean, it looks delicious. Yeah, the question is, we got to wait an hour to cut it open. That's going to be good. Okay. Okay, we got this beautiful bird here. Just uh, chirping away. Make it all. Oh, Roxy. You see? Okay, I'm doing my hydraulic fluid change. I've got the uh, proper case hydraulic fluid and oil. So I'm doing that too. I've got 10 gallons of the case. So I've taken off all the panels, all the, all the lower panels, the plastic panels, and there's what I have. And I Put a dust filter on that just for, and I gotta drop that, take that off, replace the filter, clean the filter, and uh, take a look at what filters I got. Turn my power off just for the hell of it. I got all of my spring, all of my, uh, except for that uh, piston there, all the other pistons are pushed in. So there's no fluid in those. And then there, just that one right there, I can't do anything about that. Unless I was up there, and then I could have just dropped it down a little lower. But anyway, we're here. And uh, cleaned the, uh, uh, was I sprayed some, uh, what do you call that, uh, simple green on the grills. Got the dirt out of that. And uh, 
I believe this is the um, hydraulic pump drains for the, you know, for air. And uh, we're going to uh, bleed them and make sure that uh, when we're done that there's no air, we don't want no cavitation. And um, yeah, so I cleaned up everything I could. That was all just filthy, you know. I got, I got uh, 220 hours on this, I think. And um, it's, it, we're doing a 250 hour service. And uh, yeah, I got everything all cleaned up. There was a bunch of pine needles down that side there. They're all gone. And um, pine needles down there, mud. So anyways, I'm going to start removing this to change the filter, and then I got a suction filter here. I'm going to change that. And I got some other filters I'm going to change, oil filters and air filters, and we'll just get with it. Drained 10 point something gallons of uh, hydraulic fluid out of my system. And um, first uh, 220 hours or so, and let that drip a little bit. Now I gotta take that off. So we'll get that going. And I gotta take that off. Change some filters. You can hear that thing relax a little bit, but I got everything pushed in. So all that fluid's just slowly draining out. We'll give that some time, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these bolts off and hoses off and drain that hose a little more. Okay, so I popped uh, off that. Got something on there. Keep clean. You have to take this off to get one of the bolts off. Loosen it up. And then look what that produces. A spring. And I want to get another paper towel and uh, put that on. a. No, just bring me another paper towel if you don't mind. And um, oh, look at all that dirt I left back there. Good God. I didn't see that. It was underneath something, I'm sure. I'll have to clean that up before I, when I clean it all back on. All right, so we got uh, this came out. That's upside down right there, so I'm gonna protect it from dust. I'm gonna take, got this loosened up. It looks like it's gonna come off pretty easy. I'm gonna take this off and then go have lunch. Okay, so I uh, pulled that hose off, and looks like I'm yeah, looks like I'm below the. Uh, yeah, I got making a mess a little bit. Mm -hmm. Fix that. Oh, there we go. I think I'm catching it all now. Have to do some more pressure wash in. But uh, yeah, I think that hose. I'm not going to get it any lower. And I think I'm lower. So let's let that drain a little bit. Because it put a, quite a bit more fluid in there. Yeah, that's a good hose to take off. Okay, I'm really glad I did this because uh, this thing was, wasn't even tight, this filter. Now that's weird. That's freaking weird. And you can see the hours that I got on the machine when I turned the key on. Turn the switch on here. Where is it? Where is that magic switch at? My battery is about to go dead here on the phone. 234 hours, and that filter wasn't even put on right in the first place or vibrated free wasn't torqued right that's not good when you're removing this uh, pilot line filter here you're going to want to get a uh, 
crow's foot and it's a 15 16 crow's foot and mine happens to be an inch I don't have a 15 16 so you gotta take little stabs on it in there and then you can uh, break it loose it back over and you can you can loosen it up see it's, I guess you could put a pipe wrench on it but who wants to scratch up their their filter and once you get it loose you can just kind of hand take it off here it looks like see what happens a bunch of hydraulic fluid probably well it should it should just be filled up in this little pan here but now Oh, look at that. Oh, I was going to say it's hitting. Good God, it's hitting this. No way. Okay, I'm gonna have, I might have to undo this. Oh, my God. So, yeah, look at that. It's hitting this, uh, barely hitting this here. I don't know if I'm going to get it off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take off these two bolts here because I sure don't want to strip it. It looks like it's aluminum. And uh, those are uh, probably three eighths or whatever. So I gotta take that off. These rubber hoses, I'll let it lift up and then I can take it off. So there you go. Little tricks of the trade. A little thing here I noticed is these, these are pretty loose. I mean, I, I broke them free, but they didn't take much. And so I'm also doing the retorquing on this. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to find all get my sockets out and just retorque everything down that I can find. And it comes with a, in your manual, you have a, uh, I don't know if I printed it out for here, but I think I did. Not really sure. Anyway, there's a torque. I noticed there's a torque. Uh, it must be. I bet it's still on my printer because it was something I did later. But there's a torque specification for most of the stuff that you really need to torque. But I'm gonna. I found. A, I found this bolt here, just kind of sitting over here somewhere. So it fell out somewhere. Who knows? But I don't know if that's what the deal was that. But yeah, you want to just check these bolts because these things vibrate. Like, is there one missing? Oh, okay, that's a, yeah, all right. So these here, these are all my uh, air bleeder valves. Once I fill it up, I can bleed the air out of it. You should poke something in there and bleed all these down until fluid comes out of them. We'll, we'll, we'll do a little recording of that. So yeah, I, uh, Took these bolts off and don't want them to fall down somewhere where I can't get them. Stick them back in there. I'll just set them over here and put it right back on here as soon as I can. But anyways, yeah, this will come right off now. So uh, I guess you don't need a uh, crow's foot after all. You just have to, oh, there it goes. Yeah, there goes the oil all right so i'm gonna change that filter and um see if i can use my neck here nope Let's see if that works Let's see if that works huh there we go now let's get this out of here and see what we got so yeah, there's the filter. It just pulls right out. And then there's all the greasy grease. All right. So we got this filter here. I'll drip it on my tarp. Take it over here, drip it on the, dump it into the, to the pile. And I just start toss that right there for right now. It looks uh yeah look at that see it's got some some little grits in there 
Got some grits in there if I get some light. So it's doing its job, but I found a bunch of that in the uh, suction filter and uh, all that new factory shavings. So I'm gonna go in there and clean that out and then uh, put the new filter back in. It's a, uh, give you a little briefing on this. Where's it at? Where's the, there it is. Hydraulic filter, part number, there it is. 481-45976. Okay, I got the uh, new filter, I got this. I got this cleaned out and so the new filter comes with an o-ring so we'll uh, replace that o-ring and we'll get rid of that this new filter on Okay, so this filter here is going to go push it right up. Actually, yeah, I'm going to push it right up in there. Probably should put some uh, some grease on it. There's some right there. Okay. Some grease on it. There, it's tight. Um, get that new O-ring. Put it on. Okay, so there we go. I don't know if you're seeing this or not, but I am. Give me a call, I'll tell you about it. One incher here. Yeah, it's pretty sloppy. It's definitely metric. So just give it a little. Yeah, see, it's 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 just a hard so that that uh, that thing. Uh, that that seal goes up in there quite a ways. So it was pretty nice and hard to move. Pretty sure that was it. That's what we're doing. Got that on. Got it hand threaded. And make sure I'm not going to strip it. What the hell is this? See, there's another one of those bolts just sitting there. Fell down from somewhere. Oh no, that's the that's the one I found earlier. Got to figure out where that is. I thought it was on the other side. 10 millimeters. Plug it. Unplug the cord. Pull it back in. Oh, I gotta get some more air tool oil. It's gonna be on the bottom of the barrel there. Alrighty, there we go. Ratchet pressure and 10 millimeter. Got the 10 millimeter in here. Just give it a once over here. 11, 12, and an 8, 10. 10 millimeter. There we go. Give it that. Give it that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That feels good. Got that filter in. All right. Now this one here, I'm working on a UPS. I don't know what they're bringing me, but the company, the dealership, I had a guy pick this stuff up, and you know, I'm, I'm hoping that they sent me a new because they didn't give me this. Uh, I'm letting the sun dry it out here. They didn't give me this 
suction filter and it was pretty dirty I got it pretty clean I see like if you can see right there's one little spot a couple little spots and uh, I got it pretty damn clean but there was a lot of garbage in there and uh, there's like there right down there you can see two little three little okay yeah so um, I'm waiting on, hopefully they're bringing me one today. I, UPS is just around the corner. I'm just gonna let this set out in the sun. And... Okay, so I put the uh, spring in. I put uh, this in. And I put in the filter. It just drops. I oiled the tops in the bottom of the gasket, set it down in the in there, drop that in. So it looks like spring sits right on top. Gives it a little, little pressure, keeps that thing on there. Now I'm going to put this back on. And uh, underneath there, see that groove? I'm going to clean that off and then uh, tighten the bolts down. You don't need to see that. Pretty self explanatory. To tighten this down a little video here because, uh, as always, you want to uh, tighten, tighten down opposing uh, tight, <laughs> camera. And really, it's hard to let go of that when you're <laughs> opposing. and finish that down and I gotta put that little piece in there I might have put that bolt new day new deal right and so yeah put that in in a minute Actually, I think uh, I think they're the same damn bolts, though, right? Yeah. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna take one off. I think these are the ones that actually go in there. I'm pretty sure they are. They're probably the same bolts. I'll take one off, and we'll see. Yeah, same bolts. Don't worry about it. Same bolts. Okay. All right, then those bolts are for that down there. All righty. Come on, UPS. Where are you? Does it sound like a UPS driver? Yes, it is. Right here! Hello! Hey! Hey! Okay, don't tell Donna. In the bathroom. Using my... I gotta buy me a heat gun. But I noticed uh, some liquid in there. I don't know what it is. Oh, I might need to put it in the oven. I don't know how to Okay, so I got this thing almost too hot to hold with a hair dryer. So I think it's dry. I'm going to blow it again with the air hose and see if I see any more liquid in there. And then, uh, so I'm going to clean this off. I got that nice and clean and dry. And, uh, I'm going to clean that off. There's an O-ring on there. And I'm going to put that uh, clamp back on that and uh, get that in you have to put it in um, you have to put the filter in 
and then kind of hand tight this thing or wrap it around it and then uh, hope for the best so I slipped that on you have to kind of push that filter in so it's out of the way to get this in I'm gonna kind of get it at caddy corn at an angle put this side in first this side will be sticking out you can work your way in it'll slip in and then I pushed it in as far as I can because now I've got to uh, I've got a I go a little farther. Yeah, there we go. It's all the way. Get it in as far as you can. Now I'm going to line this up to there, and I'm going to gingerly hand tighten that filter onto there, but with my fingers. And I'm going to use that wrench, which is a, uh, I think it's for a, a, a fan shroud or something for vehicle. You know, fan. Uh, water pump or something I can't remember okay so the only way I can see to get this in is to uh, put this wrench on this and then pick that up with your hand and stick it up there and then and then it's got to go this way I'll let you know how I do okay it came and went on real easy I just just get barely get it threaded on like if I was to sneeze right now the thing might fall off so I'm just going to gingerly get my fingers in there and twist it until it tightens up. It was uh, simpler than I thought. And remember when I first took this thing off, it was, uh, you could take it off with your fingers. It wasn't even tight. And whoever put it on probably didn't do it right. And uh, that's not good. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, wrench on it here and tighten it. To where it's supposed to be not fall off like it did when I had it so like right there it's still still loose mind you I still have to tighten the uh, the hose I think that'll go all the way in and then I could yeah see I didn't think so I have to let that hose out a little bit so that hose had about a half an inch gap in it so what I'll do is I'll get that tight and then I'll thread it and then the threads will pull it where it goes and then because uh, this isn't tight this is loose and uh, but you need it in there all the way to get some some finger room in there so anyway that's not too bad of a deal CX37C uh, it's getting there threaded it tight and you can see the uh, threads right there Get it focused in a little better. So they're about a eighth inch from seated, so they're pretty tight now. Before it was just finger tight. I mean, it, it, it just wasn't even tight. And I think there might have been like a quarter. I, I've got it. I think I have a video of it. I'm not sure, but we'll, I'm going to check it later. Okay, I got one.